Hello, hello, and greetings all. It's GleeCon, and I'm back. We can breathe a sigh of relief because I'm here. <laughs> and because we finally finished one of our massive Thousand Needles runs that included a Razorfin Crawl run and a Nomergon run. It's all done. That chunk, which to me, this is probably, it's, it's, it's the middle hump of the game, and we've gotten over the hump with Glee Contessa. Um, it's a right. It's right about where we stalled before. So with our alliance, we've got a higher level character. I don't think we ever got anyone to level 39. Um, certainly not an alliance before, and she's ready to roll. We're now going to start that process with Glee and Soul. She's only 35 at 39. Glee and Tessa couldn't quite soul it. If you remember the very end of that chain, um, 39 is the bare minimum you need to be. So we're going to probably shake things up, and there's a decent chance that Glee and Soul is going to slide some dungeons in a little earlier. But in the meantime, stay wide and son, as we take Leak and Soul on a whole new world. The Thousand Needles. Now there's actual questing that she can do here. So we're not doing any dungeons today. Before we get um, before we get to any of that, she is uh, well. She's going to be running some of the things that we need to get to. Um, for Thousand Needles. So the only quest we have, I think I moved it up here for her. I, I, I unpinned it. I forgot that I did that. Her quest was so long. Rathgar Death, Death, Deathgate's a Deathless quest. So let's just take a peek at the spreadsheet and see. Let's go back to the Thousand Needle quest line. And so we have this message to free wind post, pacify the centaur, alien. So we got to kind of scope out and see what we have. So of course, the donations, we don't need... Oh, we are pretty full. We're actually super close to a donation. Um, she's got... I guess we can mess around with some of this stuff. I don't even remember why we have all this lifeless stone and all that stuff. But, okay, we'll, we'll mess with our jobs for a mo. Um, Alliance Relations. Hmm, what? Which quest is that? I don't think... I'll look it up, but I don't... And we'll... This will also give us a good taste of how I finally... Got the wow head fixed. Lions Relations sends you to Desolus. So we're close, but no cigar on that one. Um, yeah, those are both donations. The Swarm Grows. Now that one we need. The Swarm Grows, I'm pretty certain that's a thousand needles. If you look, yeah, right here. So that's part two of the Swarm Grows. The first part was a breadcrumb. We've got to go pick that one up. Rig Wars, we can pick it up while we're out here because that's going to be our ultimate Nomergon quest and I don't want to make us run around and everything later later down the line. So let's go ahead and begin there. Just picking that up and then we'll decide where do we need to go. Um, she just hit 35. Four levels to level up in one zone. This is going to be tough. Um... Whoa, my durability is at 12%. I don't remember what we left off with her, but she obviously was taking a beating. What, what was it? It was the Alltrack Mountains. All right, the Hillsbrad stuff that ended with some Alltrack quests that were pretty tough. And we were fighting those Syndicate and trying to get up there. I, I kind of remember it. There's her paper doll up there. Um, forgot that. So in particular, her bracers, I think, are, are in rough shape. I think we're good. Am I flagged for PvP also? I am. What? <laughs> Things were rough out there. Um, fishing, we're at 165. That's where she should actually... She should be at 175. So we're a couple levels behind on fishing. We're going to have to do that um, at, some, at one of these points as well. We could do it while we're here. Um, Trying to think in Thousand Needles, is there a place... There is some fishing we could do, so we could fish when we get there, but let's pick up this quest. So, Corrin has come to a similar conclusion about these insects. They seem to be a larger threat than we assumed. A few days ago, a hunter returned to me from Thousand Needles nearly dead. He was with a raiding party sent to drive a dwarven excavation team out of the Shimmering Flats. During the attack, more of these insects erupted from a cave in the dig site and nearly killed the party. They were led by Mokhtar Krin, and they've taken refuge on the border of the Shimmering Flats. Bring him this note. Okay, so this is beginning to get us into the, um, the Silverfist kind of quest line. It's, it's the, starting to tease that, because Tenaris is a desert land that's sort of kind of on the border 
of that, so it's kind of getting us into that area. Uh, we sort of need to go to Thunder Bluff as well, but I'm not going to do it now if there's no quest. So we're going to pick up Brig Wars. What up? If there were just a few more hours in a day... Mm, I agree. Gnome technology! I'd sleep more. Two years ago, its most common use was as a punchline. Times certainly have changed. Now they've got a new rig built that's better than all our Shredder models combined. I need the blueprints, adventurer. Unfortunately, the plans are locked away in a safe near Mechanir Thermoplug. To make matters worse, the combination to the safe is only known by Mechanir Thermoplug. Do whatever you have to do to get that combination, adventurer. Then crack open that safe and bring back those blueprints. Got him. Okay. Good. Now, if you notice right here, it says Sovic Whispers. This is where most people miss this. Come and, or not most, but a lot of people miss this. Come and have a talk with me if you're going to go to Nomergon, Glee and Soul. So if you look, this guy is Sovic. He doesn't appear as an exclamation mark, but it's in, it's a crucial quest to pick up. I got Hello, adventurer. If you don't see it in my shop, chances are good I can get what it. What else do you have to say? As soon as we got word from Kernobi about the new Gnomish rig, Scooty and I began work on the Transpolyporter 6000, the fastest and most reliable way to Nomeregan. It's finally ready for passengers to board, adventurer. If you want to give it a try, go to Booty Bay and talk with Scooty at the Windrider Roost. To get to Booty Bay, take the boat from Ratchet. Of course, you could always try and make the run to Nomeregan through the dwarf-infested mountains of Dunmoreau. And that's why you don't do that, because that's your only other option. So we have basically the only two quests picked up and ready to go. We'll, we'll deal with that in just a moment. Let's look and see if we have to go to Thunder Bluff, because that's going to inform whether we whether I work on some leatherworking and stuff there. We do, because the Sacred Flame, that quest line, if you look at it, this this is... Um, that's a Thousand Needles quest. So I don't even have to look. We can look when we get there for anything else, but we need... Thousand needles. Now, what about Undercity? That's actually probably something we should peek at too. Um, Crown of Will. That's Alterac Mountain. Scarlet Monastery. Going, going, Guano. We kind of need to pick that quest up. So, I'm thinking we do that too, because there's no other reason why we're going to need to to come up over. To Undercity, so we might as well bust it out now and get our get our Razor Fen Crawl quest picked up and put in our inventory. Now the other ones, okay, it'll be in the area, and I don't want to mess our our bag space up, but um, I'm just getting ourselves all set up so that we're ready to go. So we're gonna go out and take a, a Zeppelin. This is gonna be a real prep and and setting up, and then we'll uh, episode where then we start digging into. Um, thousand needles, but I want it to be a very easy, effortless decision for us to be like, you know what? It's time to do this dungeon. You know what? It's time to do this dungeon. As a matter of fact, there's a there's a, a moderate chance I will want to do Razorfen Crawl tomorrow, but if not, by the next day for sure. Before we start the Shimmering Flats, I think it'll be a good idea for us to hit up Razorfen Crawl. Now, once we get to the flats and we start leveling up in that area, it's going to be kind of up to us. Nomergon, again, is a, is a much easier dungeon to run. So I kind of want, I, I, part of me just wants to get it out of the way. I just want that gone out of my life so that I'm done and I do not have to run that dungeon uh, anymore. So what we're going to do here is we are going to zap over to Undercity just to get that going, going Guano quest. While we're waiting, we're going to work our, on some spreadsheets here for ourselves, and we're going to plan what we might, may or may not need. I don't think there's any other Razor Fen Crawl quest, but we, we're going to end up hearthing back here from Undercity anyway, so not super duper concerned. So we have some flying, we do have some catch ups. I see a manual in there. I, I, we'll look up and see what that's part of, too. But all right, let's get the beginning as we wait for this. Okay, into the spreadsheet. Here we go. So we are on now a Thousand Needles Red Run. Okay, so I'm going to pick this up right here. Bam, bam, bam. Actually, let's go ahead and, and insert three columns to the left twice. Because we're going to be setting up for all of uh, both dungeons, too, since we're prepping that. 
All right, so 1,000 Needles Horde Run is where we're at right now. We're going to uncheck this and give ourselves a whole bunch of quests. Let's start it. Okay, let's peek and see if the Zep came. Not yet. First one is not called Forsaken Aid, but we did pick up a quest for it. We picked up um, The Swarm Grows Part 2. So let's go over to our main list here and look up. We picked up The Swarm Grows Part 2. And that opens up the parts of the swarm drop quests. It can't drop until you complete that one. And it opens up swarm gross part three. So that's not one we're going to do quite yet, but that's just a little bit of extra XP we will get as a horde character in, um, in, in thousand needles out in the shimmering flats specifically. There's a solid chance we're going to get to do our triage triage stuff too. Matter of fact, no, even with all these silk bandages, I'll make them right now while we're waiting. We're not going to hit the 25 that we'd need, but throughout this process, we probably will. And we're going to have to time that to where we can go. Yeah, also, there's fishing, like I mentioned. We need to get fishing in there. I think we'll, at least we can maybe get to, to 210. Maybe not, since we're not having good luck with this. I read, I, I've read online to try to research, like, well, how much does a bandage give you? And most people are like, ah, I feel like yellow is about 50-50, but I think it vastly depends. I think there's some behind-the-scenes numbers. We didn't even get to 210 with that 12 stack. That's pathetic. We got, we were at four, so we got five total points with the 12 stack. Um, and we're sitting on this manual that we need to get to 210 for. All right. Here's our ship. But that's also something we're going to have to plan. That one I know and I've done. It's in Arathi. So we'll take our character over to Arathi to do that one sooner or later. Did, she, did we get our fishing or cooking? No, we have not done our cooking yet either. That's okay. We'll wait till we're at Tanaris for that. Um, I'd like to fish in a spot. We do have some tangy clam meats. I can make some more goblin devil clams. We'll do all of that when we're in Thunder Bluff. Okay, so now we're on the boat. So what else did we pick up while we were there? Um, we picked up a couple quests for Nomergon. So we're gonna open up that too, but we also need to open up the... We're gonna do Razor Fen Crawl first. So Razor Fen Crawl. Okay, that's, a, that's one. We're not, we didn't pick anything else up. We didn't pick anything up for that yet. So I'm gonna go ahead and and white paint that one. I don't know what we're going to start with there. And I always like to have three to the left, no matter what. So we're going to we're about to fly along and we, so we're also going to start Nomergon. Okay. So also we can, we can give ourselves a little bit. There's not really a lot for the horde. Even that's probably more than we need. And this is going to be a um, horde run of Nomergon, and we did pick some quests up here. So that's something for us to look at. We picked up the Rig Wars and Chief Engineer Scooty. Two of the three, and one of them is... So we did a... I'm really just going to do like a you and most of it's for the encrusted ring and return of the ring we did pick up and pick up rig wars is the main quest chief engineer scooty and then the follow-up nomergon are just breadcrumbs to get us there we'll we'll drop those off while we're messing around um going to the back and forth and back and forth we have to go to booty bay all right so let's look and see what, what we're looking at in under city the only reason we're coming here is for the going going guano so that's going to be our, our next quest nothing else here takes us anywhere cool and then we're going to hearth back and i don't believe any orgrimmar quests we can look again I don't believe any orgrimmar quests take us to either of those dungeons i don't see any so what we're going to have to sp now when we look at nomragon I mean, when we look at uh, Razorfen Crawl, if we go back to the main spreadsheet, of course, Willix the Importer and happens within the dungeon. Blue Leaf Tubers, we do pick up. We'll pick that one up closer too because it takes up so many inventory spots. 
But a Vengeful Fate in Thunder Bluff is another one, so we will be going to Thunder Bluff after this, which is good. Um, and we also knew we were going there for Sacred Flame anyway. So not a lot. Oops, I don't know. I thought I jumped off for maybe for a minute. I was like, man, that is a death sentence right there. Okay. So nothing for her that I really super care about in Undercity. This was just solely to get this out of the way. This was gonna happen more or sooner or later. If we can get ourselves up to 225 when we turn in the this this going going guano quest, that will be a good time to um you know also work on the the first aid. I think I want to save my fishing for Thousand Needles, and I'm trying to think where can you fish. I we'll Google that during our travels as well. We'll look on Wowhead. Um, what are the fishing spots? Because whatever it is, it's going to be the highest level fishing that we're currently having access to right now. Worst case scenario, um, we can fish in Booty Bay. If we could pop over to Ratchet and fish in Booty Bay, don't really want to do that at all. But okay. So going, going guano, I think, is found in the apothecary section. Just see if there's anything we can clean up our bag space with in here. Be quick about your business. Uh, I don't have a lot. I've got some gems. Is there anything I want to stick? No. That we can just ditch. I don't need those. That used to be. I think that was tied into a potential quest line. The Zealot Blade. I thought. I think I thought about selling that. Let's look at old JP Worgen here. JP Worgen. Let's look at the Zealot Blade and see. I think I thought about selling it. I am curious actually today. I I'm gonna go and check and see if I sold. Okay, so it sold for 200 gold before. That's pretty decent. Um, there's a spike, so people are selling it. Lowest sale. Minimum buyout 570. And this is over the summer. Now, right now, six gold someone sold it for. Here, someone sold it for 50 gold. So, median is 199. There's been six on this server. I'm thinking maybe I'll try to post it for like 100 gold. It seems like a good, um, that'll pay for our mount when we get to that, that level. So that's cool. We might as well. I forgot I even had that. And then I that just made me bounce away completely from the bank, but that's alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and make an auction and maybe we can get the old zealot blade. Forgot that that even dropped for us. Oh, I have to repair it first? Why is it why would it not be repaired? That's silly. I guess I should repair myself too. How much I don't I didn't use it, so do, do items in your bag break? Is that a thing? Maybe we can cook while we're right there. It's a cooking thing, too. There's a repair person up here, I believe. Looks not the mushroom vendor. This guy. Heavy armor merchant. Alright, so 37 silver in repairs. We might as well sell some of our trash now. Um, these runes of opening I'll destroy. I don't care about them. Uh, deep rock salt I'm gonna keep. That was good. Silver. I don't need heavy stone with this character. Eventually, we can get mail at level 40. Do I stick with those I, until then? <sighs> that's a lot. I'm not going to do it. That's that's just taking up an inventory space for all that. That's too much. That's too much, man. I will potentially... I'm not going to keep this food. I'm not going to do that either. Okay, that, that repaired that. That's cool. I can sell that hatchet. We can go on a deep dive on some of this stuff a little later. I'll have some silver sand with her. Alright, so now I can post that thing in the auction house. Wouldn't you be annoyed if you bought something from the auction house and uh, it wasn't repaired? But I've never had that happen before because I've never seen something come my way and not be repaired. Like, in my bag somewhere. In my bag like that. 
All right, I'm just gonna try to sell it for 100. And yeah, and uh, both 100, 100, 24 hours. Let's see if someone wants to buy it. If someone wants to pay me 100 gold for it. Cool. That'll pay. For, that'll be our mount in the bag, and we're gonna sit on it for this character. And maybe I'm gonna get lucky, and that mech, that mechineer thing will be for sale with old um, uh, the Glee can Glee contestant that we had yesterday. Um, I'm gonna those men at mechineer overalls. I put them up for sale. I think for five thousand, just because everything I read made it sound like that was a reasonable price. And what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to keep reposting them, even though it's going to cost me some, some silver. Every time I get the opportunity, every time I'm in town, I'll just keep rechecking re in and reposting. And, uh, you know, we'll see. Maybe we'll see something out there for sale. Like, maybe, maybe it'll catch someone's attention. I hate that. I wish you could just leave things on the auction house indefinitely. Very... Interesting experiments. Yeah, poop Royal experiments. Apothecary Society. As the master here, it is my job to oversee the most ambitious of our alchemical attempts. So much work and so little time. You look well traveled for an adventurer. Uh, perhaps you can aid me. I'm in need of a rare substance. It's foul material. It comes from a rare species of bats only found in the muck hole known as Razorfen Crowl. Bring to me the guano from the Crowl bats so we can begin our work. Beware. Okay, so I will get you that poop, sir. And now we're going to hearth back and we have to go to Thunder Bluff so that we can really... Oh, they got the harvester's head. That that we we've grounded that one out. So um, I'm telling them basically that I have camped for that head and I feel and you are lucky so that someone just got the harvester head that thing is a pain in the tuchus pain in the tuchus to get we've done it on this show you've seen me do it on this show at least twice uh, I've done it with my wifey um, so that's a third time for sure. So I, and I did it on my dry run without you guys seeing, we're going to fly to Thunder Bluff. Down on the world so I've done it at fire. least four times right there counting. And I attempted it with everybody that went through Barrens. So there is a moderate chance I've done it once more. So there's a moderate chance I've done it five in total. And there is a... Small chance I've done it with more characters than that. So six. So I've done it in the four to six range. I just said six times. Uh, but that's now I'm realizing as I do the math, it's probably an exaggeration. But I'd say five is a nice conservative estimate. All right, so we're flying the Thunder Bluff. We don't need to go there yet because that's just for blue leaf tubers. Camp Tarajo doesn't necessarily have anything great. There is a message to free wind post that happens right at the bottom. So let's let's look at again some of these other things on the spreadsheet. Yeah, there's we're we're gonna pick up some in Thunder Bluff. So that's where we're at now. So we're gonna go to Thunder Bluff, pick up some of what we have. So Companion of the Fallen is uh, Scarlet Monastery. We need to pick up Vengeful Fate because that'll be our other Razor Fen crawl. Donation of Silk, Sacred of Flame. We need. And uh, we actually also need Steel Snap. That's a that's a Thousand Needles quest as well. Okay, so on our spreadsheet, we just picked up the Going Going Guano from Undercity. That was the only reason why we went there. Going Going Guano, a pickup. And I forgot to mark that we picked up the Swarm Grows. So we have three quests now to pick up there, and then we will be flying to Camp Tarajo. 
we could fly all the way down to free wind post but we actually need this process we need to pick up the message to free wind post and then we can finally start our our running through of our area so some interesting w ways that we can do this quest So I'm they're, they're, I'm just explaining the tribulations of the harvester. All right, so um, next we're gonna have to plan our plan of attack. We're not going out here. Swarm Gross is going to sit in there. There are a few from... What I kind of want to do is go to... Uh, just get the message to Freewind Post and go there. Because then that's going to set up... It'll help us pick our path. We do want to hit up the Test of Faith. That's probably going to be where we go first. We also want to get this assassination plot because I think that leads us over here... Um, there's a couple quests at this little base where the hypercapacitator gizmo guy is. Um, and then something eventually will also send us over here where we can do the homeward bound escort. And then there's of course the free at last escort set. Those are really the big chunks. Um, there's a couple more, but those are the things that are really gonna having us have us grinding our gears. <gasps> what we're gonna work on today. So I forgot to look up Fishing. We're gonna look it up anyway when we get there. Um, we do need some cooking, and I want to do leather working while we're here. I don't want to fish there. Actually, let's look it up right now. Um, fishing thousand needles classic. So wreckage and eels. This is classic. Um, ba ba ba. This is just giving you the different fish. So we want ones. This. Why is it jumping? Oh, is it alphabetical? Is that what's going on? Yeah, it is. So let's see. Farming spots for wild classic fish. That's by fish. I want. That's not really doing it for me. So if you look, that, this is the only thing that was coming to my mind, those steam vents. Maybe we can fish there. There's also this little weird water spot right there. So can you fish in Thousand Needles? How about, can you fish? Let's check that out. So it says you can fish in Thousand Needles. Look at this. His wife made the map. So, Thousand Needles, you can fish there. It must be at those steam vents. That's the only place I can think of. So we'll fish there too. We'll go fish on that little steamy water. All right, um, I wanna go to the cooking person because we have a pinch to cook. I think we can maybe go to trade goods. Only thing we can do is cook these goblin deviled clams. Well so we need nine hot spices. Maybe. I saw a fire somewhere. We first walked up, I think. Well, I could have swore I saw a fire. We also need to go to the leather worker, so we'll talk. Vengeful Fate, let's find who has that. That is had by Old Stone Spire. Tabard Vendor. There he is. Okay. 
Cairn is a noble leader for uniting our people here on Thunderbluff, but I cannot forgive those who drove us from our ancestral lands as easily as some. My people inhabited the southern barrens for decades. The land was holy to us, but we were driven off by numerous foes. A vengeful fate awaits the crone Charga Razorflank, who musters a foul army from within Razorfin Crowl. Bring me Razorflank's heart and I can die in peace, adventurer. Alright, so she wants us to kill the leader of the Razorfen people, and we will. Alright, I don't see anything else up up on this tier. We need to go up to the kind of tier over here. An auctioneer. Don't need that. Um, we also need to go down here, actually, so... I don't want to forget that. We need to go down there, and... Yes, yeah, so there are two quests left we've got one of the three as we fly around we'll update the spreadsheet again and when we get to thousand needles we start doing our run we will have to stop and do some fishing that is something else we need to do on this level steel snap is an interesting one not that hard of a quest nice easy xp and it's part of a uh, multi pronged hunting line you get out of thunder bluff greetings travel at times we hunt for food at times we hunt for honor, and at times we hunt to earn the Earth Mother's teachings. But the hunt I now set upon you is none of these things. It is to slay a creature outside the Earth Mother's blessing. The Hyena Steel Snap roams the Thousand Needles south of the Barrens. He is a tyrant, attracting other hyenas to him and spreading fear and bloodshed among more peaceful beasts. Find Steel Snap, adventurer. Find him and defeat him. Now we're not picking up Deadmire yet because that's Dustwallow Marsh, and we will not be doing that for quite some time. I haven't even done that on the. the I think that's my next. That's the next area I have planned to do. When I finish doing Oldemon, I've pretty much finished all of the Badlands quests. But there are a lot of exterior Uldemon Uldemon quests, and that's what I've been working on lately. Okay, there's a cooking pot right there. We can cook this these hot devil clams. So hot. Oh uh, yeah, nothing else really good for us. Maybe we can get to another recipe. What do we have here? Got a leather working at 170. That's it. We have that first aid up there too. We could probably put that spider silk in our in, in our bank. That's something we can stash. Okay, we got one point of cooking. I I say that this is yeah. People have said it's different. I think it's different by profession. I think there's a lot of elements. All right, so we'll look at the cooking trainer. Dirge quick cleave of gadget sand. Two hundred. You get your last of official one. Arts. To better yourself, you will need to seek him out. Well, not yet, though. Alright, so... We need to pick up the Sacred Flame quest, this guy. Zengen Stonehoof. Bring the filled file to Rao Cliffrunner at the Free Wind Post in southeastern Thousand Needles. You can get to the Thousand Needles by taking the Great Lift at the southern edge of the Barrens. I wouldn't be surprised if you can help us out further. And that's um, the second step. If you remember, we did the first step. We filled the vial in... Um... I'm going to go ahead and buy one of these bright baubles just to help with my fishing. You will <clears throat> find Nat Pig in Dustwallow Marsh. Yeah, but not yet. Also, also not yet. Now we have to find the, uh, the leather what working. What are you looking for? Which profession? Leather working trick. Go see Una at Thunder Bluff Armors, then. It can be found Okay. So after this uh, leatherworking tinkering, we're gonna. I also would like to maybe go to the bank if we can stash somewhere. We're starting to get some leather armor, some heavy leather. I guess we don't have as much as I as I thought we did. All right. So cool. We're in a good spot. So let's see what we need to do here. Um, if I want to... I can make heavy leather. I can make three of them. And that's kind of where we're at right now. Okay. Alright, so... Um, we can make four 
because those take five each for a heavy leather kit. The Hillman's Cloak also take five. Green leather belts take five. But I would also have to buy an iron buckle. I'm not going to go do that. These pants take a... Uh, I'd have to go buy bolts of cloth. And then that... We could have built those at 14, which is essentially... We should have done that because that's basically the equivalent of three. So we should have done that. This ammo pouch takes eight. We don't need that. And same thing for the quiver. So we should, we're, we're, we're good. We're just going to go ahead and buy... Make four of, four of these... Heavy armor kits, which we have some. But that's going to be good for us. So nothing, nothing doing. We can also cure some of our hide. Oh, I should have done that. So maybe this will maybe get me my one more point. If I get lucky. Should also build that. Come on. Nope, it didn't do it. That stings. All right, and then we have three. Of these bad boys. I don't see anything else. Okay. So that's cool. We got our hide worked on. We're, we're in a good spot there. I don't know what this book is. Bellamore's Research Journal. We'll have to take a peek at that. Um, that's it. We're good to go out into the world now. Be careful. And we're going to fly now to Camp Tarod. Camp Tarod J. So we'll work on the spreadsheet and then we will. So we do have a little bit of fishing to do, which will in turn help our cooking. As we make our way to Free Wind Post, we'll do that. Pantless troll. Well, mounted on the back of a wind rider, one she sees like that its reputation for strength and speed is well earned. We're gonna go to Camp Tarajo. I think Brackenwall Village is where we got the expert first aid. All right, so let's see what we picked up here. Um, well, we did pick up a vengeful fate. Okay. All right, so we picked up a vengeful fate in Razorfen Crawl. So we have the second cord one. The only other one exterior is the tubers, which I don't want to pick that up yet. Yeah. Okay, for Nomragon, nothing. We didn't touch anything else that we have to worry about. Um, and then for Thousand Needles, we, we picked up the Sacred Flame Part 2. Might not be the exact order we did it, but. And we picked up Steel Snap. So that we can go take out some. Those just are considered Thunder Bluff. Yeah, nothing, none of these are considered actual Thousand Needles quests. Yeah, so we're good. All right, we've done all the prep we need to do other than fish, where we sing out on time. Pretty good. Yeah, we're pretty good. Alright, so here I am already at Camp Durajo. I love it. Uh, I don't love the amount of running we're going to have to do to, to get there, but uh, that's a necessary evil if we want to organically pick up the message to Freewind Post. So I'm going to go ahead and mark off that we're going to get that right now, too. That's the easiest of the quests, certainly where we want to start. Nope, I put it in the wrong slot. And cool, so lots of quest pickup, lots of prep work for our dungeoning so that we can not have to do what we used to do from time to time that really extended our old episodes as we would have uh, episodes like this that would be like preview episodes, like, hey, we're going to do... That Thunder Bluff or, or Thousand Needle, or I mean, whatever, not Thousand Needles, but Thunder Bluff or whatever dungeon you happen to run across. So now I try to not do those. I feel like it's a waste of time. We're just going to play organically together. Um, I'm excited for those of you guys that are football fans. It's really the first the first game of the year for uh, most, most fan bases for 28, no, 20. There's 32 teams and four teams have played, yes, yeah, so 28. 
Here's where the person just said they found the harvester, so don't bother looking. Not that you're going to see this, but let's say you happen, I, I post this, drop this, and you, in a few hours you're watching this on Sunday. Don't bother looking on the Pagel Mancrick cluster until tonight. He won't be there. <laughs> Uh, let's look at this manual. What the heck is this thing? Keegan Darkmar, this is Bellamore's research journal, leader of the small group of undead who came to us in search of asylum from their brethren, defiles our common attitudes toward his kind. His skin may be rotting and blood may have long stopped flowing through his veins, but he acts very nobly and seems to care more for his compatriot's safety than his own. Indeed, there's a humanity with him, within him that I confess I sometimes see lacking in the humans around me. Oh, we did read this. Okay, I remember this. That was what we found out there doing a Rathi when we were getting those things. So uh, that we can toss. It's just a very interesting lore thing. I did want to stick this in my inventory, but um, in my bank, but I forgot. So now we're going to be sitting on that spider silk for a little while longer. I guess let's look and see if spider silk is uh, a reagent for leather working or can I just sell that it's a reagent for it is toughened leather gloves oh yeah I forgot those are actually pretty dope I don't it's the elixir of defense that kills me I have to go buy two elixirs of defense and they're probably not that expensive unless I'm already did buy them no I didn't I'm wearing the Naga battle gloves so let's see if if those are a 61 with a total of 15 points, and these are a 61 with a total of 15 points. Yeah, so it's a, it's a side grade. So there's no point, and I will never... So I'll never want to build it, and there's nothing else. So I can sell the spider silk. There's no point in me continuing to hold on to that. Good to know. Now, we can't open up Belgram's sealed note. For some reason, that's a secret. What about small lustrous pearls? I, I possibly could just save those up too. Might as well clear out some of the stuff that I hoard. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, so there are a couple leather working things. Barbaric bracers. Okay, well, those are higher. Moon glow vest, which I. Pearl hundred. No. Moonglow Vest is whatever, it's a 74, but those bracers are, they look pretty good. Yeah, so the, so the pearls, they're worth keeping. All right, let's get our message to Free Wind Post. Brave traveler, the centaurs have increased their attacks in this area. Free Wind Post must know about this renewed harassment immediately. Seek Cliffwatcher Longhorn at Free Wind Post to the southeast and give him this urgent message. Be warned, avoid the Grim Totem Clan nearby. They have been acting strange toward us lately. Yeah, they're evil. All right, so the last thing is I could check up deep, deep Rock Salt. We can look and see what's the story with Deep Rock Salt. I know it's used in cooking. Um, so yeah, Crystal Throat lozen Lozenge. I don't know what the heck that is. That's a Silithus thing that you can cook. You use it, uh, you need it to make Thick hide, so I definitely need it. All right, so that's just like a straight up leather working thing. All right, so let's make our way over to this little fishing piece and uh, get the last kind of tedium done where we need 10 points of fishing. And there's not a lot that we can do because we can't minimize or, or pop over to different screens. So if you want to uh, fast forward, and skip the next 10 minutes, it's probably going to be just me. Oh, I have an urgent message. Well, we can at least read that for these guys. All right, let's get this going. Um, first of all, can I fish here? Yes, so I can. So let me go ahead and apply this. It's a strong fishing pole for a strong woman. All right, so we need 10 points of fishing. Um, we've done this quest with a few characters to be, been in this little area. I have. First, let's read our urgent note. Urgent message. It's This is going to take us a long time. I think there's two sentences in it, plus a title. 
I always post on looking for a group in Discord. Anyone planning on doing Scalamance? Not us. See, this is going to give us Mithril Head Trout. Urgent message to Cliff Watcher Longhorn. A large centaur force from Camp Ethok have raided one of our supply caravans. All members of the caravan were lost, as well as all supplies. This was a bold, unprecedented attack by the centaurs, and I fear there may be more. Yeah, so we should be at 175, and we're at 165. So we have neglected our fishing on this character, gotten ourselves in a boat where we need 10 points of fishing. Uh, I'm hoping in this zone, it's typically, if you're in a, a, a low level zone, it's going to take you around seven to eight casts. If you're in a higher level zone, you can average somewhere closer to around five casts. So we need about 50 casts, unless this is, we're going to, based on the kind of fish that we're getting, the mithril had trout mixed with the briscal, briscal, whistle catfish. This is most likely, uh, I think, at our level, right where we're at with this 165. Um, it might be a, a pinch low, so I'm thinking we will probably average around six uh, casts per level up. Now, they have to be successful fishes, but with the, the um, little glittering thing we put on there. All right, so that one was five. Five fish to get our first point. So that's good, but still... We're probably going to be maybe, let's call it 5.5. So that means we, we're going to need around 55 casts. But maybe we'll get lucky and it'll be just straight up 5 across the board. So this is where my mind will default to. Let's just do some simple computations in math to figure out our life. Also, if you look at the total cast time, you figure what's the range of opportunities. It's a 30 second cast. And the fish will not ever strike in, I believe, the first five or last five seconds. So you have a 20-second window. Um, but it's really, it doesn't matter. That first and last doesn't matter. So the 15-second mark is really your statistical average or cast time. Because there's an equal chance of all... Um, I don't think there's, like, if you were to check this and clock every millisecond, I do like what LVI puts this bar up there with a the timer, uh, and you can have better weak auras if you're really into the fishing. Um, I don't feel like one click, see, that one only took four, so that's good. So, so far, we're at nine total casts. So this is, that makes me optimistic. That means we're probably going to be more in the 45 cast range. 45 to 50. So let's say optimistically we're at 40. Let's say we're averaging 15 seconds per cast. Um, and then you lose a couple seconds in downtime and reclicking. That's what the one click casting would speed up. That approximately two seconds it takes me to loot and recast to move my cursor over there. Well, one, I could shorten that further by simply putting fishing on a keyed hotbar or assigning a key to this fishing thing. So if I really wanted to, you don't even need a weak aura. I could, then we'd be talking about fractions of a second. If I just kept, let's say I put it on the one key, for example. Every time I looted, I then instantly hit one. We're talking about milliseconds and not very many of them. So, if, if we were to go that route, now it does mean that both my hands would be occupied. So, oh, I didn't loot. <laughs> Wasted cast. So that essentially counts as a cast for us. Adds 15 seconds onto our time because I screwed it up. Um, I also sometimes feel it ruins the little... Okay, that was another four caster. So we're at 13 overall total casts. So not bad. Now somehow I think we are, we're, we've already used half of our, our bait, which I don't like. So that might, we might get a bite in the butt from that. We'll see. So 
So now I'm a little bit more optimistic on this being a four and a half, so 45 total. And yeah, we're not quite a third of the way because like I said, we were, we we're at 13, well, we've done 14. So we're getting close to about a third of the way through the cast. So let's see what the grand total would be, averaging 15 seconds a cast, 15 times 45 casts. It's gonna be, um, well, that's going to be 15 times 15 times 3, so 765. So 765 seconds, which is 11 minutes and, and a change. So not too shabby, which does mean if if our if this is right, we will run out of our our bobber thing, uh, our our lure, about a minute before we're done fishing. So we'll be fishing, which could slow down our overall time if the, by then we'll be at least in the 170 bracket, but that's not typically a bracket, but if that happens, now of course we can get lucky, there was another four, so we're trending towards four, so we could shave, if it really averages down four, and we're talking about, you know, 40, instead of 45 total casts um, per thing, we could lose as many as, well, the most we could lose is nine total casts, and I already botched one, so the most we could lose is eight total casts. <laughs> this is this is how my, my brain is working, guys. If you pop the hood, this is what's going on. Well, eight total casts at 15 seconds a cast is uh, 120 seconds. So that's two total minutes, approximately. So that would actually bring us under... That would bring us under the expiration for this. I don't know why it seemed things were there. I don't know why this guy has to bring this. Hunter has to bring this. Fighting right away. True. There was another four. So so far, we out of the first five casts, it took us twenty-one total casts and twenty-two because one was a, was a smash. Now that doesn't mean much. It still could be whatever you know but we are at 170 so we've we've caught up to okay I'm gonna go ahead and put this on there he greeted me with a he said he greeted me with a happy hello and I'm putting I'm happy to see you just to be a nice guy all right so if we get lucky we got 20 20 total casts, and we've already done three now, so if we get lucky, we're talking 17 total casts. 17 times 15, that's 285, um, set, which is just over four minutes, yeah. Four seconds. It's closer to five. So I just don't see us, yeah, if you can see here, we're not gonna hit our fishing time, it's just not gonna happen. Ooh, and now we're gonna hit a five, so we did get unlucky. We're hitting a five. Now that we're in a new bracket, we might trend closer to the five. So we had 21 plus a botch. So 22 casts the first time. And this is now our 27th cast. If I don't screw anything up, of course, that will be part of it. Yeah, so four, we need four more points. Um, these bristle whisker catfish, I don't think do anything for us. The trout probably do. Yeah, so this is great for cooking. Um, every one of those trout is a is a nice free basic point of level up. Okay, so right now we're going to be sitting at probably 210 for cooking. And I don't think I have a cooking recipe. No, I have a leatherworking recipe, which I need six more points to get to. Which I forgot. I need to remember this. It's just been so long since we were with her. I actually need to sit and build Hillman's leather gloves. Because 14 medium leather is actually cheaper than 5 heavy. Right? Because to make heavy leather, I think it takes 4. It takes 5. So 5 heavy leather is like 25 medium. So if I've got the medium, I need to use it on the leather gloves, at least for now. So here's another 
five cast. Our bobber's gone. We don't have any more bobbers. We're one point away from that. Okay, so, yep, one, two, that was another fiber. So we, we most likely we're going to need it in the ballpark of 15. So we are sitting at just over four minutes away of fishing. So again, if you're popping in right now and you heard those words, feel free to pop back in in about four minutes. And you can see if I am right. Um, the math was good on this. My fish got away. So that's, uh, there we go. We're not at 100% anymore. So now that our bobber is wore off, we have to see what's the likelihood. I don't know what the overall percentage chance of a fish getting away is when you're this close. Twice in a row. So now we have to assume, I mean, that, that's bad RNG because I don't know how long it, before it wore off. But let's assume right now we're somewhere in the neighborhood of 50-50. We'll, we'll, once I level up my next one point, I'll, we'll kind of take a little inventory of that. It gives us more math to do to kill the time. Three times it got away. Oh no. That's terrible. So we might need to... Um, that's going to greatly slow us down. So now we're looking at, at best case 50-50. So that just doubled our time. So we're looking more at like an eight to nine minute time. And that's assuming it's even going to be that good. Okay, we got one there. There's one. And that is the first of this set. So let's say we're in the one to there. So we're one out of five. So we're sitting at a 20% 20, 20 success rate. That's terrible. I want to see if I can look up. On my phone, um, classic well fishing skill level by zone, and I want to see if I can also find if someone's done the math. That's one for six. All right, so. This is just talking about the classic. I want to see if someone's done the math on also what you get. So we're two for seven so far. Terrible. Oh. There we go. Okay, so that... The, the plus side was it only took us three casts. So we're three for eight. So we're sitting at about... 37.5% success rate-ish. Um, but it only took us three casts to get it. So that's good. All right. So now we're one for one on this next one. So you can get something called a big iron fish fishing pole if you look at shellfish traps when you're in Desolus. It says 5% drop rate. That's pretty cool. It's a plus 20 fishing thing. I love that. It's basically like a free bobber. The Nat Pagel's Extreme Angler you do a horde quest in the hinterlands, that's a plus 25. We will be doing that. So at some point, we're going to get a free plus 25 fishing pole. Right? So we're basically one for two. And ultimately, you can get the Arcanite fishing pole plus 35 if you win the Stranglethorn fishing extravaganza. One for three. This is lame. The reason is Bright Baubles, which is plus 75. Is it, I guess there's a lucky fishing hat and the boots too. I think those are used for twinks most of the time. And there are fishing, oh, there's something called fishing line. Okay, so two for four. A rare fish during the, so you get you get that, I guess that can like permanently buff your fishing pole. All right, so up to 225 is thousand needles. So I don't know what that means. Obviously, well, we're getting plus five. So from our poll itself, which makes me feel like how another fish got away. We're sitting at like two for six or something like that. 
Okay, so I'm gonna look at the math on this. Okay, we're three for seven. Classic wow fishing percentages. By the way, by skill level. I want to see if someone's calculated this. Does fishing level affect quality of fish? I don't think that's the case. Um, only affects the chances of fish getting away. Ugh. We're in the final two points. Okay. Um, yeah, I want to find out. Bait won't slow down your leveling progression. That's true. Bait does not hurt you. So it's not like you're treated as being a higher level. Although, I think there might... I mean, that might have just been lucky that one time we got three. And that the average is actually four. And it's plus one or minus. Yeah, somewhere north of 200, it's five to six to... At three. As you get close to 300, they say it's about ten fish per. per. So, the further you get... Yeah. You can level 0 to 300 in a starter zone, and it's probably easier and faster than the level zone. It takes forever and gets slower as you increase your skill. Early levels, it's basically one catch per one skill point. By the late 200s, around, this guy says around 8 or so. Okay, we're in our last one. Yeah, I would love to find out how does your fishing skill increase your... There we go. Okay. Well, it says how many you need. So in the range we're at, it doesn't matter. I see. It doesn't matter where you fish. It's... Fishing doesn't work on, based on the difficulty of the area you're fishing. It's just catches. Right. There you go. So if you go to the early zone, so it doesn't matter. The only benefit we have for busting our head against the wall and fishing here is the fishing that get, the, the fish we're getting for cooking. That's the only reason. So it's because we're in this 145 to 190. See, now that's where it's wrong. It says about three catches per skill point, approximately. That's wrong, because we are at 174, uh, so we should be in the three catches per skill. That's wrong. For us, as you've seen, it's approximately five per skill. Okay, that's two, so we're going to need a, about two to three more. Now, this is from three years ago, so this could have been, they could have nerfed it. That's good, we just got some luck there. So we've had three. We probably need about two more. Yeah. This guy's, yeah, so. This guy says, my go-to is Feralus, Nat Pagel's Rod, Bobbles, Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You can go wherever you want. There we go. We got our points. So, and it took us it took us four that time, which is reasonable. So, there we, we did it. We we fished our little brains out, and we've caught up, and we and we're pretty new to this level, so we're we're not gonna have to fish for a little while. And more importantly, we're gonna get around twenty one points of leveling up from this. So we're gonna be at around 217 cooking skill unless that turns yellow and it probably will but i would imagine we would hopefully still get somewhere near 215 cooking took us a little longer we need this guy we might as well get him since he's in our sights so this is a drop quest the galak messenger uh, we want to take him down he patrols this whole path and i want to get to him before he gets out um gonna go he's a level 26 he's not tough we're so close to getting in range with him there we go okay 
I'm putting on the Wind Fury. I'm gonna put my Lightning Shield on. We haven't fought with her in a while, too. It's nice to get this one, but we will, we will need him. Okay, so that's a drop quest that you need to get. And let's go ahead and start it. The Tauren Kanati Grey Cloud is bold to set up a hunting camp in Thousand Needles. We must kill him to rid this hunting camp and all who may follow him, says the centaur. We will converge at the small post southwest of the Great Lift. So you have to tell this guy that, and then you'll have to do a, a very, a, like a protect quest. It's not that hard. You can get bad luck with an elite pat that comes by. Alright, but we just got the quest. It is called Assassination Plot. Okay, we survived our fishing. Oh my goodness, that was even longer than the rest. Okay, so Assassination Plot Drop Quest. We just picked that up. Just got lucky. That means we're not going to have to... I mean, that one's not... He's not hard to find. He spawns a lot. I've never had to... Just saves us time later on from having to search his path. So the few, I mean, it helps, helps us, saves us a few minutes, which we just burned fishing. What's our time on our record? Okay, so we're still doing good. I think with all of this, those of you that have made it with me this far, we should, we should get some quests started here. Why not? So what I want, we're going to pick up everything in Freewind Post, get that started, and then the first thing I really want to do is go over to the Test of Faith and start that quest line. I want to make sure this is... Um, so, yeah, that Pacify the Centaur is actually the first, the, the real easiest one. That's going to send us up here killing Centaur. So, that might be worth it, but also the Test of Faith is, is low, and we have the Sacred, we're going to get the Sacred Flame, too, that we need to go to the Centaur for. This guy says he's going to carry people into Uldaman. I will be doing Uldaman soon. Maybe today. Ah, probably not. Because, like I said, there's still a lot of internal quests to do. And today's a football day. So I'll be finally getting my football on. I'm, I'm stoked about that. I can only use that outside. It's weird that these bridges don't always count as outside. All right, we're going to really check out Freewind Post for the first time as well. So of course there's Nice, the Wind Raider Master, and then here's Elu. I've been tasked to recruit more wyverns for the Master Wind Riders. Their numbers are growing, and I myself hope to become a Wind Rider one day. However, we cannot train enough wyverns to keep up with the demand. Perhaps you can help me, adventurer. I need you to travel to High Perch to gather some wyvern eggs. From here, head northwest along the canyon walls to a ramp that will lead you into High Perch. Be careful. Wyverns are very protective over their eggs, and they will not be kind to intruders. Alright, I, I feel like we need to um, go ahead and use our heavy armor kit on the things that we can. Definitely let's use it on these Naga Battle Gloves, especially since we are gonna we can make them now. Um, now, if I do the Warsong Boots, do I want to replace the agility with the armor? No, I do not. And then these two things, I already have decent armor on, so maybe I won't replace those. But the gloves? Yeah, that was a good add. If I feel like I want eight more points of armor, I'll go that route. This guy is also as um, we've my favorite because he loves to go up and kiss these things. Can we watch them? Let's see if he'll kiss them. <laughs> he just... He, I don't know. I, yep. <laughs> I don't know why, that just that just makes me just so tickled. Alright, so here's another one, alien egg. A rumor has surfaced about an alien egg here in Thousand Needles. Those that report seeing this egg have failed to even get close enough to examine it in detail. Serpents guard the egg as if it's one of their own. I want you to seek out this alien egg and bring it to me so that I may examine it. Reports say the egg is located within a serpent den. But there are several serpent dens along the base of the cliff walls south and northeast of Free Wind Post. Walk with the Earth Mother. Alright, so. We have to find this weird little alien egg. So here's a gunsmith bl bower guy. Um, I do want to cook. 
like I mentioned. I want to cook some stuff. We don't need the bristle whisker catfish, but I do want to cook these fish out of fire. So let's cook those really quick too. I forgot about them. cooking them up. Get our cooking going through the roof, and then we'll be able to learn the spicy whatever, the spi white spider sausages, once we hit 200, which is coming up. And the goal would also be to get to 225 cooking before we finish shimmering flats, because... And we will probably, because we'll have so many areas that we can, we can cook in uh, and fish. But we want to be able to do the cooking chain too. That will help us with some level. That's five or six thousand XP. So I'm not sure. Tomorrow, it's a, it's a medium chance tomorrow we'll run Razorfin Crawl. Possibility. I want to get on the Patreon, too, and do another episode. I didn't do one this past week because I was really, really wiped. Um, but I think psychologically, mentally, I'll be in a better spot. Okay, look, we're up to... We've got a new bracket, at least. We're at 217. That's good. Sell this guy, too. For something I think I'll be... I think I'll just be a little bit less tired this week, so that'll be good. All right, let's talk to this guy. First of all, we can turn in our message. Oh. We cannot take care of all the threats in this area alone. We could use another fighting hand with this. Weird. Me at your what back. do you want, Shaman? An urgent message for me. More bad news! These centaurs have gone too far! Sorry, I they missed uh... my supply caravans and slaughtered the whole party. This is an outrage, and it will not I'm, I'm I missed his actual vibe. Adventurer, I entreat you to hunt these centaur down. They shall feel the wrath of our revenge. Attack the centaur camp to the north of Free Wind Post. Let Wrath guide your hand. And we'll go, we will go kill them. My brother Nautica is stationed at Ghost Walker Post over in Desolus. I'd like Crumb. to ask you, could you give this report to him for me? A year has passed since the last time I wrote. There has been unusual centaur activity since then, and he should be informed. Journey to Stone Talon Mountain north of the crossroads, and then head west into Charred Vale. From there... Head south into Desolus. There you will find a road going south to Ghostwalker Post. Yeah, and that's just a straight up breadcrumb to Desolus, and we actually should, we would be able to fly there and then walk to turn it in, which we will. Um, so, dropped off, picked up. There's another guy right here. This is a butcher. And honor. Doesn't seem to have any quests. We can read that letter in a, in a mo. Here's a lore keeper, which actually is reagents. So that's neat too. They should need some reagents. Alright, we got a stable master there. And the, the leader of the, the post here is the only other one we really have to talk to. So we've got a general goods vendor, nothing special. We've got a trade supply, my favorite to check out. They have bright baubles for when we come back and do some fishing. Um, Thalia doesn't have anything. This is the innkeeper. You want to? You can buy Alterac Swiss right here for when we do our cooking quest. FYI. Uh, Don't suppose been you've been sent by Zengen? You. Mm hmm. Mm, yes. This vial of water will serve our purposes perfectly. Because of the shared ancestry of the Dryads and the Centaurs, the water of the Moon Wells will enable mm, us to breach the, shared the eternal flame surrounding the Centaur relic. Kind of gets at some of what we read about in Chronicles about that shared ancestry. Using the water you brought, you will be able to temporarily douse the flame that holds the centaur relic. It will not work permanently, however, so you will have to be quick about it. You will find Split Hoof Crag, the centaur's stronghold, to the north of here. The flame is kept in Split Hoof Hold, a heavily guarded part of the crag. Be careful, though. The Galak centaur have great numbers here, and will be rather reluctant to surrender something so dear to them. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, um, let's, before we, there's, we're, oh, I'm missing this one. The Wanted poster. Wanted Arnok Grim Totem. Arnok the Outcast is wanted for the heinous crimes of murder and kidnapping. Handsome rewards will be given to those brave enough to bring this criminal to justice. Arnok was last seen on the cliffs near the Dark Cloud Pinnacle. Show the proof of your DG Cliff Watcher Longhorn in Freewind Post in order to claim. Alright, so let's see what we got here. Um, first thing we did was we talked to Smoochie Poo, and we got the, um, 
what's it called? Uh, Wind Rider. Okay. So we picked up that quest where he wants us to go over to uh, that that area. Then we went and got the alien egg quest. Picked that one up. Pretty pretty easy one. Okay, cool. Then we went over and we did this message to free wind post. We turned it in. And we picked up the next step, pacify the centaur. Cool. Um, then we... also picked up the quest family tree which is the last one really in the zone so we picked that one up from him too okay and then inside the the tent there we turned in sacred flame two and we picked up sacred flame three bam bam so we've got that and then we also picked up the Wanted Arnak Grim Totem. That's the last one that we picked up there. Okay, the rest of them are going to be taking us throughout. So as you look, Pacify the Centaur is the easiest one, which takes us up here. It also gives us the Sacred Flame is in there too. Um, that those are a, those are those pieces are above, so they're not as as much. Um, and the alien egg we can get while we're out, but I also want to pick up the test of faith. So like I said, we're going to start with test of faith. That's where we're going to begin this journey. And um, while we're down there making this first loop, we'll also pick up the alien egg because we want to get that part done before we go up. Now, how will how will our journey take us here? Um, I'm not sure. Oops, uh, I almost missed it. Wrong key hit like a change of view key. Don't like that. There we go. You can only use outside and apparently this does not count as outside when you're on that platform. Alright, so let's go do test of faith because it's such an easy peasy. It's one of the last ones. We got a couple that are they're that low level, but this is why I, I wanted as level I mean that guy's um Multiple stuns. Oh, because there's two of them. There's stealth, and somehow we didn't see. I, I didn't see the stealth. I, I I would go. Okay, fine. We'll fight this guy. Just because I one, I want the leather. Two, I we want the XP. We want as much XP as we can get. Which is another reason why. Um, well, this is why I want to start. Oh, what's our skinny? Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I was gonna say, am I am I behind? But we we're artisan skinning. We're just working our way end game on that one. Okay, so this is our little path. This is where we came and got our wind totem from her, Prate Cloud Cloud Seer. But now we're gonna do the test of faith. Could have picked that up at the time. But. So, you have sought me out, mm -hmm. or perhaps destiny brings you to me. No matter. You are here now, and so your journey will begin anew. Many facets make up a being. The spirit, the body, the mind. Some of these can be measured by a culture's traditions. Others, we can only hope exist within ourselves. If you agree, I shall test some of the facets within you. If you pass, then you shall become stronger. If you fail, then you will realize the vastness of the nether. The first is a test of faith. Until we meet again, brave one. All right, so I like how they even put it off. So test of faith, this is a very easy quest. You are just jumping off the cliff. Objective complete, very easy quest. You did it, you have faith. It is not until faced with unforeseen adversity that we begin to see how strong our spirits are. You took the leap of faith, even though you had no guarantees that you would survive. Your mind is open, and your spirit is prepared for what is to come. If you are willing, then the next of your tests is ready. 
Okay. Now a test of endurance. Since your faith is intact, the time has come to test your body. First is a test of endurance. Go with friends to the Rogue Feather Den, west of Freewind Post. Make your way to the depths of their lair and destroy their foodstuffs. By then, you should have provoked their fury. And if you're able to survive long enough, Grenka Blood Screech herself will come for you. Kill her and bring me her claw to complete your test. Now, if you remember when we did that quest, that thing is tough. That's one of the tougher ones we're going to end up doing. That test of endurance. That is no joke. And if somebody screws that quest up, like, that's going to be one of the last ones we do. Uh, because I, it's, it's pretty much the hardest one um, in this zone. So we did do test of faith. Cool. That one's done now. We picked it up and did it immediately. Pick up, drop off. And then we picked up the test of endurance. Um, we need this because the test of lore series is, is essential to get us ready to do... Um, is it called trial of endurance? No, it's called test of endurance. Why did I put trial of endurance? Weird. It's called test of endurance. Okay, so we are put, putting that one, we're picking that one up too. That one, it's tough though, because people usually screw it up and die. Um, and we did it ourselves too. Uh, that is one of the tougher things that we have done on these characters. All right, let's swoop around and get the alien egg while we're, while we're messing around down here we'll, we'll find an alien egg and grab it and then we'll go kill these centaur i basically i'm trying to check off the boxes of the ones that aren't worth a lot of xp um the alien eggs are usually around these little nests i don't see one there so we're good on that just kind of looking there's usually like one sitting out so there's a few spots they can be that's one of the three um obviously it wasn't there that time we aggro will fight not worried about it uh, pretty easy. You can actually get this with get these. You sometimes without even having to do a fight. If we have to fight one, I see the alien egg right there. So back in the fight here, we're gonna fight this one just to get there. No XP for this guy, but we'll get to skin him, and then we're gonna get grab that alien egg. Pretty easy quest, but it opens up something that you want. You want to do this one fast, one because you get those gray quests out of your log. But two, because um, it will open up a chain, which will see us going back to Thunder Bluff. It's probably, uh, probably going to be how we end this episode on, on a flight back to Thunder Bluff. Um, but it's because it will open up the, the Arikara chain which is going to be part of the this escort grim totem thing which is probably what we'll do second. That one can be that one can be tough. I think we're good to handle it. Um we're, now we're going to just kill these centaur that are worth nothing and meanwhile we will also go into that cave to get the cloven hoof. So we're just going to go into the centaur camp and start slaying. Probably don't really need to do anything in terms of mana. Yeah, get my multiple of these guys. She's pretty good. Look, they're so low level they won't even aggro on us. Okay, we need 12 scouts, 10 wranglers, and um, eight, six wind chasers. Wind chasers, I think, are like the. Retaliation is a super good move. They said so overpowered. I mean, yeah, I, it's OP, but yeah, you can only use it once every half an hour or whatever. Okay, here's a here's a wind chaser. These are there's the thing I don't like. Oh no, I, I hit the wrong shot. I'm a little rusty with her. Bear with me. Could have ended the fight early, but didn't because of my my lack of skill. Mm-hmm. Of a common refrain. So 
basically, I'm not really worried about dropping totems or doing any of this cool things that I like. I accidentally just refreshed that. I feel like I just gave him a hit after it was all done. Uh, we'll come out and clear mobs after I clear the dungeon. I don't know what kind of mobs are in there, so I'm... Now, inside there, they're probably a little bit tougher if the mobs are. Probably. Ooh, look at that. Just insta dead. Love that. I must have hit her with a crit and she got hit by my lightning shield at the same time. And she's gray with a low life pool. It was just instant. So, what I think we'll do is we'll finish this line. Watcher's Cape of the Owl, that's a five point thing, I can't imagine. That's gonna be anything special, no worry. Remember, this is, a, this is, I kinda like this character because it, it takes all my decision making away from my gear. Since I just pick best gear available, it doesn't matter. I just look for the overall points and I don't worry about best stat or anything because I like her to do a little bit of everything. It's kind of fun. All right, we got four wind chasers. I'll go ahead and take this scout out too before we go in the cave. I doubt that I'll be fighting eight scouts in that cave. I don't even know that you fight any scouts in that cave. Um, we do have to, you know, get water from time to time where that goes. And actually, next time I'm I'm wanting to heal, I'm gonna eat one of my because I have now 27. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and drop. Now I'm drawing a second one from around the corner. Wind chaser. I just wanted to get her down. Okay, because you know they like to do their thing. She's running. Alright, so we got some, cleared out the entrance, no biggie. I'm going to go ahead and eat one of these just to get my spirit up. So, mana regen is definitely the killer. There's iron if you are a miner. Definitely the killer with it with a shot. So, we're, we're what we're doing here is we're working our way to the back of the tunnel where we will fight an okay fight. A couple mobs together. They're guarding the sacred flame, so that's really what we're into here. All right. So, we need to make our way back in here. That we can do. There's a Marauder. Don't need those guys. I don't think we ever will. Okay. Um, I can kind of wait. He's there also. Not worth XP. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and let this one roll. Cool, I didn't even have to worry about the interrupt on him. Now that guy's worth... See, these guys are borderline to it. Excellent. Now we need to make it to the back of this cave. Okay. No worries, no worries. Little quick stormer kill. I don't care that he's charging me into him. Doesn't matter. There's a mauler. As these guys are maulers as opposed to marauders. A little different, I guess. Okay. We are making our way to the back of the cave. It looks like I gotta go back and high, so I shouldn't have jumped down here. Should have stuck around with this side of the this side of the cave. Maybe there was a tunnel back in there. It's really hard to tell on the mini-maps. I do like the way they do dungeon maps and mini-maps in retail now, where you can actually open them up and look at them. Like, maps are essentially useless. Ah, you read. That was, that was close. I did just get a potion. We have two of those. But that's, that's the kind of potion we want to save for... I'm gonna drop these. 
That's the kind of potion we want to save for that one quest when we get. We want to save one for when we get to Badlands. Okay. Killing Maulers, Marauders. Oh, we just picked up another one. Okay. I wonder how we're doing on this. Okay. I could probably trigger him to run. I was being a little bit greedy there. But I think he killed my manager. Jerk. Alright, so we're getting a little bit of XP here and there. We're at 17%. It's such a big calculus that we have to do as we As we make our way uh, to the end of this zone, because the race to level 39 is so real. And honestly, it's, it's not even enough. As we saw in the last one, 39 is not enough. I mean, it never feels enough. Like, I'm I'm finishing Uldaman. My characters are, I think, on the on the dry run, or level 47. Now, let's see. That cape is a 7 cape. I think ours is 8. Yeah. So that's a little bit not we're close. A Dokebi cape. Decent. Nice. Alright, so this is where we really want to um, be ready. We want these guys right here, these two Gallic Flame Guards. They're both level 30. We want two of them. Okay, so here's where I'm gonna I could drink something. We'll eat one of these mutton chops, and the I only I, my water is very limited. So that's a bummer. I guess I'm just kind of gonna wait for it to roll out. Probably be okay. This totem is giving us four mana every two seconds. We just started Resto, which reduces the mana cost. We'll be doing that one more time. Okay, so we're probably good. All right, we need this. We need this going again too. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna drop all three. Okay. We're gonna fight them both. Done if need be. Hit them with some shocks. Good. Okay. Alright, we're doing good. So, again, you gotta be in it. It's not that this is super hard, you just need to be in a spot where you are okay killing two level 30 melee guys at the same time. I'm not gonna that. And then you can douse here. Or if you can stealth, you can stealth back there, which is what we did the first time we did this with our rogue. And then you can you stand in the back of the back, you can actually um, get that with with uh, without aggroing them. Or you can Yeah, I'm pretty sure you can. And um, or and or you can die and then res right there if you're if you're trying to do this when you first get this quest when you're at like Ashen Veil vale level. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and pacify the rest of the centaur, and then we're going to um, we're going to turn those quests in, and then that's probably where I, I'm gonna leave us. I'll fly back to Thunder Bluff for next time, so we can turn those quests in, and. Uh, Tomorrow's episode, we'll keep questing in here because I think we can do one more level of solid questing before we run the crawl. Oh, oh that was cool. I he had he didn't quite die, but then his arrow procked the lightning shield. That's good. I like that. That's good, so that was a Wrangler, which is another one that we needed. Alright, so we're, we've gotten all the Wind Chasers that we need. We need five Scouts and six Wranglers. So after this Scout being dead, 
We need four and six. We need a total of ten guys. So it's really just looking for the Wranglers. They seem to be a little bigger and tougher, um, but I think they're the ones that can net you. That's really annoying. We don't want the Wind Chasers. They're just annoying. So already, these guys are so easy. We're down to needing nine total. Get below halfway life, then it's time to... He's gonna run. Oh, get there. Then it's time to bust the heal off. So it's time to reapply my buff. All right, there's a scout. I don't want the wind chaser. All right, so we're just looking for. Yeah, we're just looking for these guys. Be ready in case he goes to run to just try to insta hit him. Didn't even. Didn't even want to risk it. There's a Wrangler. Perfect timing. I think I hear my wife getting back. Yeah, because I want to. I want to try to pop an early lunch off so I can get that before football starts. Otherwise, I'll be watching and and uh, like I'll be. I usually am. I don't enjoy eating. I know it's a like a pastime thing, but it just goes to show you like my weird parasocial relationship that I have with, with sports watching that I just don't enjoy like eating. I can't get myself in a comfort zone. I'm usually too high tension. Uh, over the past few years, so you guys have probably seen it unfold in, in my sports fandom, I, uh, I'm generally a pretty chill guy and um, generally. Now my wife, of course, she gets to see the worst in me, you know, through knowing me since we were young. So she could cite incidences where she knows I lose my chill. But something about watching sports brings out this just high stress, quick to anger side of me. I don't, I, it's unhealthy. And, um, like, I don't even like it in myself. So, what do we need? Two of each more, so four total guys. So basically, a couple of seasons ago, the Vikings had um, what is now a kind of infamous season where they were 13-win team, and like almost every single one of those games, I think 11 or 12 of those games were down to the final play. And it was such a crazy, wild, stressful season, and... Um, I, I I would come out of the games even if it was like this thrilling to the rest of the world win I would come out of the games even after a win like feeling miserable and physically ill and like it made me realize my like my, the way that I watch sports and because I'm, in some ways I'm even worse when I watch like basketball Baseball, I'm, I'm usually just, it's a more slow, slow paced sport for me, I, I, so I don't get as intensely disappointed. Um, I mean, I'm a, I'm a fan of all sports, so there's, I just find it the most, it affects me the most with football and basketball. And, um, basketball, I've just, the, the Timberwolves have sucked for so long that it, I, it's kind of foreign territory. So when we made like a deep playoff run this past year, I, I was a kid, you know, when the last time I experienced something like that. So it was kind of new for me, and it was like playing with house money. There was also that element to it, whereas the Vikings have always consistently performed well, and. Very few times have we, I mean, I can only remember maybe one season that was just a flat out abomination, terrible year. And um, there's only been a few times really that we, that we haven't been in the mix for like, in the wild card conversation mathematically. Even this past year where we finished with seven wins, up until the last couple weeks of the season, 
there was still a chance. Um, but it's just it's just been a life of heartbreaking stuff. <laughs> when it comes to that, I know it's silly. All right, so let's turn in these couple quests here. We have um, an alien egg. Turn that one in first because that's going to open up the next quest. What brings you? Here? I must know more about this mysterious egg. Who knows what will hatch from it? Yes, finally, the mysterious egg has finally been delivered to me. Now let me take a closer look at this. What? What is this? If I did not see that with my own eyes, I would never have believed it to be true. They watch. Here's Vengeance the egg. Vengeance has come to Thousand Needles. Adventurer, you must act quickly. Look, Go it's now and see flying out. Young Erikara. He is located at White Reach Post, just northwest of Freewind Post, along the road. He will know what to do. Get him. Get that dog. Go. Okay, so he's like chasing the dog around. Which is just weird. I don't know, like, what, if you watch it, he wants to do something. I don't know. I, I'm pretty sure he tries to kill this dog, but for some reason it's, like, glitching out. There you go. He finally got, he killed it. So he chases it around and kills the dog, and then flies off. You can't attack it, even though he's hostile. He'll fly off, and I think it just kind of goes down the side. Yeah, so it flies down there and away. That's called a young Arikara. So basically, we're supposed to go over here to this guy. And maybe that one will tell us the next piece. So actually, we maybe won't even fly on this episode. Oh, I think Pacify the centaur. My gratitude. This is for you, adventurer. And then we get Grim Toad of Spying. You have served us well in the past, so I now entrust to you an important mission. The Grim Totem Clan is up to something secretive. Three agents of unknown origin were seen visiting the Grim Totem over the recent weeks. We discovered that separate chests in Dark Cloud Pinnacle hold these guarded messages. Adventurer, if you succeed in this dangerous mission, I will reward you in kind. Now, we also have this letter, the Cliff Hawk Watcher Longhorn Report. Nataka, all is well in Thousand Needles. The Centaur Annoyance is nothing more than that occasionally attacking. Nothing substantial is a real threat. However, there does seem to be some news of Centaur clans uniting. He always pondered the threat of a united, ruthless race such as the Centaur. I try not to dwell on such ideas, as you know. Nothing could penetrate the pure hatred they have, even to each other. I don't even know what the heck... Where does that come from? Why are we... Who gave us that one? I don't know. But this is the Sacred Flame. I've even to put my hands upon the cloven hoof. Have you taken it? I sense a strange energy emanating from the hoof. I have no doubt that we will discover surprising new information about the centaur from its study. My thanks, adventurer. Now I must begin to decipher the mysteries you have brought to me. Alright, so that one at least we got some XP for. So not a lot here. So what do we do? We ended up turning in, first of all, alien egg. So that one finished. We turned that one in. Um, we can go check that one off. And then that gave us the quest Serpent Wild. So that is a breadcrumb I forgot we have to do. So we'll, we'll do that next time. Because it's going to bring us to that other little hub. Then we also turned in the Pacify the Centaur quest. So that one's now done. So we're starting to check some boxes here. Starting to do some quests. And then that gave us the Grim Totem Spying. Which is part of what's going to get us going on the, the higher Grim Totem area. And then finally we turned in the Sacred Flame 3. There's nothing more that comes out of that. That one was just, hey, there we go. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, cool. So we have a start. We've, we've gone here and we've started this and we have things that we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and sell. And we're actually just going to, we're going to stop it here. Because now I wanted to go to the, the Thunder Bluff. But actually now that I'm seeing, we're actually going to go over here. We're going to do Serpent Wild. The assassination plot and we're going to do hyper capacitator gizmo and heck while we're there let's get steel snaps rib too then we can consider going back um over to, Th to thunder bluff and everything uh, because steel snap is something we'll have to turn in there as well Greetings. that'd be cool we can sell a lot of this stuff it's not anything useful for us some mutton chops too we don't really need those Okay, so that's good. That's a good um, beginning. Oh, I think I can repair and I forgot. What yeah. brings you here? Yep. So one silver on that. Overall made it a little bit of money there. But 
But uh, we've got, we found ourselves with another episode in the pipe 5x5. Five five. I had a good time. Uh, we did get a slow start because we got everything going. But now here we are, deeply in the middle of this uh, zone of Thousand Needles, doing things that are different from what we did last time. But eventually we'll do those Shimmering Flats ones too. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching and for tuning in. You will see me next time on War of Warcraft.